It's time for another pop date with Mumbles and Dancer. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates. On today's episode of Mumbles and Dancer Pop Dates, I'm talking about whether or not your dog should wear a mask to help prevent the craziness of 2020. So, guys, I'm going to answer this question next, but first, I got to go put this little guy down. So, I'm going to go do that. So, guys, I'm back with more information to help you with your dog during this crazy hectic time that is 2020. Now guys, I'm not gonna say the word. We all know what is going on in the world. We all know the big sickness that's out there that is affecting humans everywhere. So I'm not even gonna say the word because YouTube's get mad when you do. But I am gonna try to answer the question of whether or not your dog should wear a mask, whether or not this is something that can help your dog. Now, in order to explore this question and answer it fully, first things first, I had to do a lot of research and find out if the disease was something that they could even catch. So what we know is the facts are two dogs in China tested positive. Both of them had minimal symptoms and were only tested because their humans got sick. A tiger in New York also tested positive. It was showing symptoms or whatever. Doctor decided to give a test. It had a positive test. Those are the only cases we have seen through this whole pandemonium that is this sickness. Now, that's the facts. Those facts were good enough that a lab in China decided, hey, we're gonna study this and we're gonna find out the answer. So what they did was they took a bunch of dogs and cats, they introduced them to diseases. I'm not saying it's ethical. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not even going into that. That's something for you to decide. What I am saying is a test was done and here were the facts. The facts were cats had a rough time with it. They got sick. Some of them unfortunately passed away. And they also introduced it to dogs. Dogs were very resilient to the disease. None of them died. They didn't show many symptoms at all. Everything seemed to be fine with the dogs. But they can test positive and they can technically have the disease. So those are the facts right there. Now the CDC has not put out any official recommendation as to whether or not your dog should wear a mask. They have not officially said one way or the other whether or not your dog can get the, test, get the, the sickness. But what they have said is that this time, they haven't had enough evidence to say that they can. However, based on the facts that some of them have caught it, it's likely that they can get it in some form or another. Now there is one thing that they did find out from this study. Dogs cannot pass it on to other animals or humans. So you don't have to worry about that. But the question here I'm trying to answer is whether or not your dog should wear a mask. So guys, what I came up with was this. If your dog is one that goes out and just minds his own business and isn't really around other people, there's really no reason that your dog has to wear a mask. Now, obviously when they go out for their walks or things, you don't want them sniffing around. You wanna kinda of try to curtail that as much as possible because that is how they would catch the disease. But, it's a very, very, very unlikely that they will catch it just from going on their walks or anything like that. So guys, on the flip side of the coin, if your dog is one that is out in the public, that does go places, that is around a lot of different people, this is a dog that you may want to consider having them wear a mask just to be safe. Whether or not you wear a mask is kind of a thing that's up to you. Now, again, no deaths have occurred based on this disease in dogs. So you don't have to worry about that. So really, it's a personal thing. If you feel better with your dog wearing a mask, your dog is comfortable with it and they're not you know, going crazy, trying to get off their face or whatever, then by all means, go for it. If not, then don't. It's very much a personal choice, and that's the best thing I can tell you. So guys, I hope this helped answer the question. Now I'm gonna go get the answer so we can finish up this video. So guys, now that we've gone through all the serious stuff, it is now time for some fun. It is time for our pop in play, where you get to see this cute little guy have all sorts of fun, and here he is.
Anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Mumble the Dancer Puff Dates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons. Dancer and I are going to go have some fun and play some games. So you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I hope this guy this helped, guys. Anyways, this is Mumbles the Dancer signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.